You've got an informant claiming that the Biden family had been bribed. Should you ignore that or you should investigate that? To impeach or not to impeach? That is the question. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has let it be known that if the committees looking into the Bidens don't get what they want, they are prepared to move forward with impeachment in the House of Representatives. So let me give you my take on this. First, the Democrats have nothing to complain about as this process moves forward. As 10 year old me used to say to my mom, they started it. Second, the committees in the House need to tread carefully and build a case. Look, Republicans historically have not done a good job at doing this, whether it's political policy or other legislative matters. They move too quick and come off missing the boat. They've lost the support of the American people time and time again. As a reminder, and this is important, the only thing standing between Biden and the Democrats controlling all of government is a Republican House of Representatives. And there are only five seats standing between us and a radical progressive agenda, the likes of which the world has never seen. A world of crazy leftist policies that will not able to be undone. Massive increases in spending and programs, changes in culture and society that we've never seen before and the list goes on. Literally, and I'm not exaggerating, the future of our country is at stake if we lose the House of Representatives. We need to tread carefully. Biden's age and his policies have even Democrats on edge. Almost half of his party don't want him running. Let's not screw this up and hand them something to be unified behind. Let's make sure we do this right, right now. And I'm not saying it won't be ready to happen, but right now, impeachment is high risk, low reward. House Republicans need to, as they say, speak softly and carry a big stick. They need to get this right. They need to move slowly and methodically and build a case. Hear me out on this. Too much is on the line. There are too many Republicans in districts that Biden carried that won't be with us when the vote comes down to it if the case is not rock solid. If we put this up for a vote and it fails, what message does that send? We need to get it right. This isn't about doing it or not doing it. It's about doing it right. So here's the thing. What do you need to do? What do we need to do? We all can help. Help share the findings of the investigations being done in the House Judiciary and the House Oversight Committees by Jim Jordan and Jim Comer. Let our friends and our colleagues know what the findings are. Post them, the documents, the findings, the emails. We need to build a case that's so strong it can't be torn down and that no one, no matter how leftist they are, can disagree with the case. We need to share, tweet, send to our email list, post, whatever it takes, help make and build the case. I mean, we've got to remember what our side is up against when it comes to getting our message out, the facts out. Hollywood's not going to help us. Late night's not going to help us. Big tech's not going to help us. The leftist media, government institutions, academia, they're all fighting against us, protecting their side. The leftist media is going to bark all day long that these charges are trumped up and ridiculous until they can't because of a groundswell that we can all be part of. The truth is going to hand us a win, but only if we don't overstate our case in the interim. The Hunter Biden laptop gave us the receipts. Let us use it to light a fuse. We need to give it the space and the attention to make a huge bang. Well, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, subscribe and ring the bell to make sure that you never miss another video.